So my name is Philip Creighton, I'm a grassland researcher with Chagas. Um, and today we're talking about grassland reseeding. Um, the, the grassland reseeding demonstration here today, uh, showing the different methods. Um, and I suppose the board here, what we're, what we're covering is a little bit about the methods. Um, but I suppose the, the, the science behind it, some of the trial work we, done, we would have done to, to correspond with the, the machines that we can see here today. Um, and effectively, we, we ran a trial a couple of years ago um, where we, we wanted to see uh, when we moved to some of the more min till methods of reseeding, um, what would the results be. So we set our control as our, our traditional plough till sow method, uh, where we plough, then we, we, we power off uh, and we seed. <coughs> then we had a, a, a heavy disc harrow where we'd go two or three runs of a disc harrow. Um, and then followed with a one pass, so cultivating my power her and seeding at the same time. Then we had the one pass on its own, just one pass and uh, power her into burnt off ground. And we had some uh, direct drill methods um, where we wanted to just burn off and see, uh, stitch seed directly into the burnt off ground. And basically, what we found was that all of the methods um, were basically uh, as effective as, as the plough. Slightly uh, reduced yields in, in, in the more min tail methods, but in the in the lifetime of a sward, a very very small reduction. And I suppose the big bonus to this this work was that really we're not talking about which method is the best for reseeding. We're talking about what method would suit your farm. So farms we say with very shallow soil, very stony soils, um, can't plow maybe, um, and we wanted to see will the min tail methods be as effective for them. And and the result is that yes, they are. And we've seen it here today with the different methods and and, 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 and what was established here uh, six weeks ago. You generally get the complaint, oh geez, the, the, the docks came in the grassy. The dock didn't come in the grassy, the docks are actually in the soil, okay? There's something like 80, like a, a mature dock plant can produce up to 80,000 uh, seedling seeds. Okay, so the other big area that we're talking about today, I suppose, and, and the lads have covered it on the side of the table, but <laughs> post sowing management. So what, what we're kind of saying to lads is that look, when you close the gate on the day they've done the, the reseeding job, whether it's, it's whatever method you choose, that's really about 50% of the job done. But the other 50% is what you do in terms of looking at your soil fertility, getting the right fertilizer out to, to make sure that they get good establishment, getting your weed control under underway. So again, in the demo there, some of the, half the pots have been sprayed with a post-emergent spray, half of them haven't, and you can see the effect that has with the amount of weeds in the ones that haven't been sprayed. Vitally important and, and, and a very cost-effective thing when you see a little seedling dock like this as an example, basically no root on it, very, very, very small little root. Get the chemical on it at that, at that young stage, it'll wipe out the plant. Whereas if we don't get it on at that stage and the plant gets a chance to establish and develop a, a large tap root, it's very hard to, to, to actually eliminate the weed. You're, you're more controlling it rather than eliminating. So we have a, a great chance and, and for a very small extra cost, it really enhances the longer term lifetime of, of the new sward. And I suppose another thing that we can do there is, 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 is the grazing management. So again, frequent light grazing, you know, setting up the farm like we've seen in the, in, in the grazing demo there with the infrastructure, the roadways, the, the fencing. That if we can utilise the grass as, uh, as effectively as we can, we get the most from it. And it also um, tillers out the grass as, as, uh, you know, as best we can. So a lot of, you know, uh, grazing at a, at a lighter sort of a cover and grazing it quite frequently after sowing encourages the plant to thicken up. And again, that helps in, in, in stopping weeds from uh, from from developing in, in the sport. And Philip, what would be your top uh, tips for a farmer who's going to recede or plan on recede? I suppose you've said it there yourself. Is to have a plan. Um, I suppose you know we live in Ireland. Weather conditions can be quite variable, but have the plan there. So have the seed on stock, have the sprays on stock, have the fertilizer there. But when we get a window, we have the materials that we need to get out there. And actually, if, if it's spraying off, we get a nice calm day. The, the spray is there, or we have the contractor lined up, and um, we have the seed there ready to go. We're not panicking. Oh, I don't have the seed, and we could miss a window there with the weather and that. And I suppose is is as well maybe look forward, looking forward maybe. It's an area that had older swords of that maybe have some fencing in place already to go straight away that we can start utilizing the grass better after we see.